We will be talking about uh, self-interested agents and their interactions. So let's first uh, speak about what we mean by self-interested uh, agents. We don't mean necessarily that agents uh, are adversarial or don't care about what happens to other agents. What we mean by that is that agents have opinions, have preferences. And so there's some description of the world, uh, how the world could be, and in different descriptions, the agents have different uh, preferences and different uh, utilities, as we'll say. And so what we mean by utility function is a mathematical measure that tells uh, you how much the agent likes or does not like a given situation. It uh, describes not only uh, their attitude towards a definitive event, so for example, tomorrow the temperature will be exactly 25 degrees centigrade, but, uh, but in fact, it'll describe the preferences towards a, a, uh, a distribution of such uh, outcomes. So it really captures their uh, attitude towards uh, uncertainty about events. So for example, if I tell you that it will be uh, uh, 25 degrees with uh, probability 0.7 and 24 degrees with probability 0.3, uh, you might have an opinion about how much you like that versus some other distributions. And the decision theoretic uh, approach, which is what underlies modern game theory, uh, says that you're gonna try to act in the way that maximizes your expected or average utility. And so this is a concept we need to get uh, comfortable with. And, um, and it's not obvious that uh, one would want to use such an approach. So for example, um, we are going to look at a single dimension. So your preferences will all be on uh, a scale. Uh, as we'll see, the scale is not that important. Unlike probabilities, utilities don't have to lie in the 0, 1 scale, but they will lie in a linear dimension, and maybe, uh, maybe that's inappropriate. So for example, uh, you might have some level of wealth and some degree of health, and for a certain level of, uh, of each one, you'll have some, uh, some, some, some notion of well-being, but is it appropriate to put the two together and have a single scale? You might, you might question that. Um, similarly, why is looking at the expected value, when you're looking at your uncertainty, why looking at the expected value an appropriate way to capture your attitude? And so these are not um, trivial statements, and in fact, are not tautological. Uh, they make a substantive claim. But uh, there's a very long tradition, and the, maybe the most famous uh, reference is to uh, Van Omen and Morgenstern's seminal uh, uh, book, uh, on, uh, on, uh, which is really in some ways the introduction to modern day game theory that derives the, uh, these utility function uh, from more basic assumptions one makes. And uh, we won't go into that, but we just wanted to flag this issue as something that will underlie uh, uh, everything we say about game theory and which really underlies uh, modern game theory.